Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to Art of Binary. That is the place where artists learn to work more creatively. Today, I wanna to talk about how to hold a graphics tablet pen correctly. This is a really under-addressed topic on the internet. I scoured YouTube looking for a good video that explains this concept well, and really could not find any that uh, had the information I wanted. Fortunately, I was able to find a really great blog post linked in the description that explains everything you need to know about holding a graphics tablet pen in a way that is not going to hurt your fingers or wrist in the long run. So definitely go check that blog post out. This video is essentially just a summary of that information just to make it a little bit more easily accessible to those of you who are like me and who prefer videos to reading. So here we go. Uh, for most people, natural instinct when you pick up a graphics tablet pen for the first time is to hold it the way that you hold a pencil in the writer's grip. And it turns out that's a terrible way to hold your graphics tablet pen because after about two to three weeks, uh, your fingers hurt, your wrist hurts, you end up with carpal tunnel, all the muscles have been strained and it's painful. So let's talk about why that is. Turns out pencil, Graphics tablet pen are two completely different drawing implements. They're just not the same. And it mostly has to do with the way that they react to pressure. So turns out the writer's grip is fine for a drawing pencil because a pencil can apply pressure in this sort of way. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you guys. You got your, your drawing paper and you hold the pencil in the writer's grip. You can apply this sort of angular pressure just fine and it draws on the surface of your paper, no problem. And the reason for that is that the graphite in a pencil is not located exactly just on the tip. You don't have to hold it completely vertical to the surface in order to leave graphite on the page because there is graphite on the side of the pencil as well. Get really close so you guys can see that. So it, it, the pencil reacts fine to this angular pressure. The graphics tablet pen does not. Uh, the graphics tablet pen is essentially just a nib with a button that pushes straight into the pen. So it, it doesn't understand this angular pressure. It only understands pressure that goes straight into it. So if you hold a graphics tablet pen like this on your tablet surface and you try to press the same way you press with a pencil, uh, a lot of that pressure just gets lost because it's going straight up into the pen and it's not getting into the button. Some of it goes into the button, so you get a little bit of the pressure, but not all of it. So what happens is you'd have to end up pushing a lot harder and that strains your fingers it strains your wrist and again it gives you carpal tunnel so it's really bad for you to hold the pen in this way best way to fix the problem hold your graphics tablet pen vertical now if you can uh, do that by just using your writer's grip and you could just angle it up props to you if that's all you have to do um, some people do it and it works fine I, I find it's a little easier if I kind of move my, my middle finger up a little bit so I've got my index finger up here I've got my middle finger here thumbs about where it naturally would be and uh, the pen rests between you know these two knuckles on my index finger and also on the uh, knuckle of my ring finger underneath and the pinky just kind of tucks under for uh, support so when I hold the pen like this it's vertical and I could just slide it across the surface and all the pressure that I put on the pen goes directly into the tablet surface. So important point number one to holding a graphics tablet pen correctly is keep it vertical. That's just one thing. There's actually four things I wanna mention. The second thing is uh, looseness of fingers. Cause again, if you grip the pen really tight in a vertical position, you're still gonna strain your fingers. So the other key is to hold the pen really loosely in this grip. You want it to be stable. You don't want it to wobble while you're drawing, uh, but you really wanna do it with the minimal amount of tension in your fingers. And a really good way to test that is to hold your pen in, in your natural grip that you've established for yourself and drop it just a little bit. If you can slide down the pen like this uh, without really moving your fingers much at all, without releasing much tension at all, you're doing it right. So thing one is keep it vertical. Thing two is keep loose fingers. Thing number three is to draw with your entire arm. It's a very important thing. You don't wanna be making these little wrist movements because that's gonna strain your wrist. And you don't wanna be drawing with your fingers because that's gonna strain your fingers. The way to draw correctly, uh, really in general, traditionally, or with a pen, is to use your entire arm. Notice my wrist, not really moving. My fingers, not really moving. They stay relatively stationary the entire time I'm drawing. So I can draw some horizontal lines, vertical lines, no problem, just draw with your arm. So, vertical pen, loose fingers, draw with your arm. Last thing, thing number four, you might be thinking, 
okay, that's great. Now I'm not using pressure in my fingers. I'm not using pressure in my wrists. I'm drawing with my arm. How do I put pressure into the tablet then? Because I do need to, to get some pressure variation when I want to draw a thick line versus a soft line. I need to be able to control that. The way that you control pressure with this grip is in your, your hand rotation. So if you're gonna draw a light line, you just wanna barely touch the tip to the surface. If you want it to be a thick line, you can rotate your hand down a little bit and that'll create more pressure. But notice when I do that, I'm using the weight of my hand, not the uh, tension of my fingers or the tension of my wrist. It's just the weight of my hand. So vertical pen, loose grip, uh, drawing with the whole arm and pressure sensitivity is all in the, in the hand rotation using the weight of the hand. You won't tense your fingers, you won't tense your wrist, uh, and you're set to go. So last thing I'm gonna say on this is, if you need to develop your own grip, that's totally fine. People get hung up on you know, trying to look at exactly how the picture says they're supposed to do it. Uh, and the truth is every artist is different. Every person holds the pen slightly differently and that's totally fine. Uh, just as long as you stick to those four keys, hold it vertical, hold it loose, draw with your whole arm, and make sure that when you're applying pressure, it's using the weight of your hand. So if you stick to those four things, you are just set to go and you're gonna do fantastically and be ready to draw and paint all kinds of amazing things in Photoshop or whatever your drawing program of choice is. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.